Mm -hmm. Number one, she does not know herself. Number two, she does not know her purpose. Yeah. Number three, she does not even know where to stand. See, everybody that God created, yeah. every one of us, God has given each and every one of us talent. You don't want to talk, you don't want to cook, you don't want to bake. Some of them will tell you, I know if you learn work, I beg, and one one will go and I'm like, Ipen Studios presents her true awakening talk show. Hello everyone, welcome to her true awakening talk show. My name is Imo Victoria and today we'll be talking about something very beautiful. This talk show is here to inspire you young ladies out there in the journey of purpose discovery and personal discovery. So always stay tuned by subscribing to our YouTube channel at IPEN TV, follow us on Facebook at IPEN TV, on Instagram at IPEN TV and on TikTok at IPEN TV. So let me introduce you to my beautiful sister again. Yeah, with me on this show. A lot of our Emanuela. Yeah. So there's a particular book that just came out by one of our beautiful, amazing, wonderful sister, Glory Chidera. And the name of that book is Rich Yet Spiritual. If you have not read that book, you are wrong. Go and check it out. The link to get the book is in our comment section or it will be shown on the screen. Let's go right into our topic for today. And our topic for today says living authentically, becoming the real you. Wow. wow. Living wow. authentically, becoming the real you. You know, we are, we are in Nigeria now. Yes. So when yes. you get to a particular age or a particular time of your life, there's this kind of pressure yeah. on you as a lady that, okay, you're if you're not, if there's no result of what you're doing, yeah, there's a that pressure time. that comes upon you and yeah. say, oh, time is going though. You don't have time like men. Yeah. I, I don't know whether that's like the <laughs> African <laughs> parents. Yes, yeah, sure. You don't have time like that. Yeah. So now, um, how do we now come out of this shell by becoming the real you and you don't want to, you don't want to please anybody and displease yourself? Very, very, that question is very, very yeah. important, number one. And that question is like, picturing what is happening in the community yeah. like in the society of this day but firstly like if from what i'm seeing and what i literally have seen and what i yeah. know for you to be able to like meet up to your own self like for you to be able to like work on yourself to get to a particular point in your life where you're like okay at this point i think i can rest my back Mark. yeah number one you even need to know yourself exactly <clears throat> Couple some of us yeah. yes some of these ladies they don't know you know maybe i see you selling wig today <laughs> uh, yes i sell wig tomorrow <laughs> and tomorrow you add lipstick i add lipstick Stick. like you don't even know why the person is doing selling, that yes some of, you see the reason sometimes some of them they literally do these things because this person is doing it. They don't have passion for it. And at the end of the day, there are some kind of challenges that when they come through, they quit. Mm. They, yes, they have yeah. to. They can. They can't go. They can't go deep in it because it's not something they have passion for. It's not something they yeah. have interest in. Same. You understand? Yeah. This is something that because this person is doing it, that's why they are doing, doing it. it. And okay, God so faithful. This person that is doing it, not quit. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> They're no longer selling wig. Eh? You'll be wondering, uh -uh. I still sell it wig. It's not selling wig. Sometimes it's not selling. It's not cause fight online. It's not looking at saying, yeah, copying me, yeah, doing this. They don't know that that person is literally very, very lost. And that person confused. does not very confused. That person does not know. Do. Number one, she does not know herself. Number two, she does not know her purpose. Yeah. Number three, she does not even know where to stand. Mm. All these things, they still lines like you knowing yeah. yourself. Some of yeah. them, they are here, they are there, they are there. You understand? Yeah. And this is something that you need to pick what you want to do. Okay, I love talking. Okay, I like dancing. Okay, I think I should venture into this dancing and let's see how it goes. Yeah, so let me, let me quickly say this. See, everybody that God created, yeah. every one of us, God has given each and every one of us talent. Yeah, I'm always sure. surprised when I hear people say, I don't have talent. No, does that? It is, is not, it is not possible. It's not even normal. Is, if you, maybe you don't know, 
but there's something deep, deep deep down inside of you that God has given Some to you. Some of them know and they are being ignorant of it. Exactly. They know. They are being negligent. Disco- yeah, like this thing. I say God. Now this thing. I go to tell them. Some people say, I go to tell them. I go to talk. Okay. I bet which kind of thing down. I don't wow. get strength. What, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> is it it? <laughs> and the worst part is this is the same talking that people do and then mm-hmm. they earn livings like oh, they get yeah. out to reach they reach out to people they talk to people like they get to know people more you don't want to talk you don't want to cook you don't want to bake some of them will tell you i don't feel learn work i beg and one one or girl and i'm like you can you know feel learn work how you call intent to take group how do you want to you understand that how do you want to become this rich yeah. woman this rich woman that your mommy <laughs> wants you to be, this rich daughter that your daddy wants you, how and your you parents want you to do things early. Yeah, this is the joy of every parent that they enjoy the fruit of their labor. Oh, exactly. Yes, because you that you are like the firstborn now, and hey. you have four siblings. Hey. You know, your mommy and your dad will be like 50, 60. <laughs> so your dad is already like, what are you doing do with your, your life? life? Kidney con, they're not like the pressure is too, too much, much on them. Knowing fully that they literally cost it because if you started something earlier and then there is result for it there will be every possibility that the amount of yeah. pressure they will put on you will be lesser and they will not even have to put pressure on you when you get a particular time do you understand okay imagine you now okay and your mom's like ah victoria i even saw that your video and you're like ah, mommy yes so the lord is doing it you understand your mommy knows you're doing something and she can't see for herself yeah. that you're doing so something. you said you said something before you said these people that are doing all this thing, they don't even know who they are. Yeah. So now, how do we now discover who we are? Because it is when you know who you are that you can even discover your purpose and sure. say, okay, this is what yeah. you want to do. Yeah. So people don't know who they are. And because they don't know who they are, they allow society to define them. who, yes, you define who you are. Yes. And there's this kind of pressure that comes upon you. And you don't even know your worth anymore because this person is doing really? this. You now like, do it yes. also. Uh, yeah, like yeah, stop, let me stop. You just, you follow all trends. You follow everything that passes. So how do we now discover who we are? Firstly, I would say, for you to discover who you are, mm. firstly, like number one, you need to know what you like. Like, you need to know what you like. You need to know what you have interest in. Do you understand? So, we are two friends, right? Mm. You already introduced me as your sister. Okay, so let's say we are sisters <laughs> now, you know? You might like to talk. You might like to design. And I like to sing. Mm. And I like to make sure that everywhere is intact. I like to make sure that uh, this person is sick, but I like to take care of people. When I see you sick, I'm like, I know what to do. Let's take prastamol. Let's take, you know, that you know that this is what you know how to do. These are ways you can get to know yourself more better. Study yourself. So, some people are like, How do I want to know myself? I will not come and preach yourself to you now, sister in the Lord. Uh, yes, you understand? Yes, yes. you <laughs> need to study yourself. Like, sit down, look at that thing you know that you find interesting, you know, you can do for hours. Look for a way you can put that thing into meaningful, you know. So just people that they talk, like me, I can't talk when you yeah. say, Okay, we well, know now. <laughs> this, this one, I just this is composure. Like, yeah. We know where you're, you understand. <laughs> I love talking, you get so now. Well, how can I make talk meaningful? You understand? Yeah. How can I bring how can I bring something meaningful and tangible out of that talk I used to talk? That yeah. is when you now start getting ideas. You do not have to read books. You have to pray. That is when God call me. So people are praying to God. God help me. You go. You don't even know what you want for yourself yet. You don't even know what, what like yourself. You have not discovered yourself yet. You want God to help you. There's a limit to what God will help you. You understand? Like yeah. study yourself know it for yourself that no when it come in time of singing sister victoria is very good at that you understand i know when it come in time of praying oh god give it to sister victoria <laughs> <laughs> you understand you know you see how you say example so that kind of a stuff yeah. now when we know that ah, sister victoria is a one who is singing and even hosting programs oh my god that girl is superb you understand they know you for something <laughs> you you no yeah no they know they yeah. not know you for something they know that you are very good at this thing and stuff like that so at least at that point you know what you want to yeah. then you cannot say father lord where should i go into how should i put this thing how can i help people you understand what is my purpose under this thing that i literally discover about myself yeah. you know i like talking how can i help people with this my talking that my talking will impact life our pastors talk now are we they are yes. preaching they Sorry, teach let, let, me, they talk. Let, let me say this if i was going to discover like who I am, yes. the real me. Yes. The first step I'm going to take is 
knowing who God is because when you know God you know who you are yes you cannot say you are genuinely following God and God will allow you to go out of purpose. Yeah. When you know God, He begins to align you to your purpose. He has given you that talent. The Bible says that your gift will make room for you. Yeah. He will now begin to bring opportunities that will make you refine your gift. That it now becomes useful to you, your society, I and everything, that. just everything, and can bring you money. So you you know. Can I you say know, something? Wait, wait. <laughs> I understand the Bible is that oh, the people are very, very spiritual. Yeah. Because yes. these people don't they don't even know what they're actually doing. They don't even know what they're actually doing. Okay. okay. They don't really know what they're actually doing. Yes. They don't even really know what they actually do. They just okay, want to be spiritual, let's be spiritual. So it's when you when you know God, you discover your purpose. Okay. I wish you could continue on this. Ah uh, yes, so because you see this spirituality and this some people they some people who take spirituality and they forget about what they're supposed to do. Okay. Wait, wait, it's a wrap okay. on this particular episode. I need you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you, beautiful ladies out there. We love you and we thank you. Guys. you.